Broadcasting from the financial capital of the world, this is NBRFM, New York City. And we're back, Salji and Grasso with you on National Business Radio. And uh, our next guest which takes us to Vancouver, British Columbia. It's Tatiana Balashova. And uh, Tatiana, hello. Welcome aboard. Hi, hello everyone. I'm really happy to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, and uh, Tatiana is an, uh, a, a kind of a life coach. She calls herself an art coach. Tatiana, explain that. Tell us about your business, please. Yes, so I actually have a very unique uh, skill set. I have never met anyone with um, such skills in the background. So art coaching uh, is one of the services which I offer, and I would say it's, uh, I consider myself an emerging coach because I just finished the course uh, in the beginning of the summer, and uh, it's essentially um, life coaching, business coaching, or creative coaching with a touch of art uh, methods because it was created by uh, art therap- an art therapist from Ukraine. And in Ukraine, I have to say, they have very, very developed uh, methods for art therapy and, and coaching. And so they combined those two um, fields and they created some different uh, techniques for using art, arts or we also use metaphorical cards. That's another method which I practice. Uh, basically, it's the kind uh, like projective materials, uh, images, either painted or photography, and we uh, use them as um, some tools in the sessions. And that kind of makes it more fun for people, and also it's, in a way, a shortcut to your subconscious, to intuition. So we tap both into logical part, which usually is typical for coaching, and also we take uh, a note of the other part as well, which is really essential for some decision-making and for balancing your life. Now, Tatiana, I understand that you have a very specific method in doing this, and could you explain that? Because a lot of folks might not know what art coaching really comes down to. So could you give me uh, an example of uh, something you did for one of your clients? Well, for art coaching, for example, let's say uh, basically coaching is how to get from point A to point B and make it most efficient and in a way hopefully having fun on the way. So I I would use some coaching methods. Um, For example, let's say someone wants to figure out even what goals to pursue. For example, many people, they have many dreams and goals, but we only have 24 hours in a day. So it's, it's hard to put all of this in one basket, so to speak. So it's a typical thing to work to help people to set their goals more clear and also to uh, be uh, more proactive on what to do. And so, for example, I would use metaphorical cards as a supplementary tool to um, answer certain questions. I have to say that I am more, um, because my background is in visual arts, I'm, I was a photographer as well, I'm still a photographer, and also I do a lot of dance, so I'm using, uh, I'm trying to use as less words as possible <laughs> in a session, so, um, because it helps, uh, it gives more time to the person to um, discover something about themselves and and to put a plan if it's coaching. And but I, I guess... Want to also yeah, and I guess, that, I guess that's how you got interested in this with this uh, a background that you have in the arts. I, uh, like, I have a background in photography more. Like, I was uh, a photo reporter, and, and later I did portrait photography. But I've been dancing, um, all, like, all my adult life, like, as, as a social dancer. And also, that taught me also to be more uh, responsive to, uh, how, like, feeling the body. Even online, you can, you can still visually feel. And I also study astrology. And that is an absolutely mind-blowing tool, like, if you know how to use it to um, see the bigger picture of what's going on with a person. I don't use it in each session, so it's only, uh, I'm still studying, and only if the person is willing to, for example, combine psychological counseling with metaphorical cards and astrology that I'm now researching, uh, to how to put it, both of that together, because I find it quite beneficial. I tried it with a few clients, and they gave, gave really good response. So anyway, uh, so that's... Um, the methods which you practice. So basically, we just try to use images um, or creating something as a means to understanding yourself better and uh, to set to set more clear goals and to take all the things which are kind of like obstacles, whether it's uh, emotions or some some things which people um, wanted in the past but they're not necessarily needed in the in the present. 
So if to distinguish art coaching from psychological counseling, for example, uh, the main thing is that coaching works with present and future, and in counseling we also look into the past, but related to the present. So that's how I work, for example. But I also understand you have a, a numerology component uh, that you work into this sometimes? Yes, numerology, uh, at, at the present moment, I use more when I do some astrological uh, consulting, but for now I just do practice. I will start officially uh, offering astrology closer to spring when I finish one important course. So, uh, But for the moment, numerology I use when I do crystal uh, uh, jewelry, so that that's as a supplementary tool to, um, for example, boost your energy or manifest something or it works well for balancing emotions. I've, at least I use it for myself and I had clients who ordered for that as well, So, and that helps. I really recommend everyone to look into crystal healing. Even you can learn on your own through YouTube videos and things like that, so you can just uh, be open to that and that will help to use it. And I use the neurologist specifically specifically for that as well a lot so but that's uh, something which I've learned from a Russian um, numerologist uh, so I don't know if people practice this uh, in in the North America so some methods they do they are not really known in North America so my goal now is to put it out there maybe for YouTube channel and uh, Instagram and some social media and to just tell people more the, the benefits of the unique methods which I practice and approach so, Tatiana, thank you so much. Uh, we are running short on time now, so I wanted to take these uh, final uh, few minute, uh, seconds here uh, for you to uh, fill us in again with your uh, web address and uh, ways to reach you through social media and the telephone. Yes, my uh, all my social media is uh, Life in Glow, L-I-F-E-I-N-G-L-O-W, and then, um, so that's the website, lifeandglow.com, and then also Instagram is Life and Glow and a YouTube channel. So, and uh, people, best way to contact me is through the website, I have to say, just because time zones are different. So, but I also have a phone and WhatsApp, and it's all on, the, on my website. So, thank you very much, uh, Tatiana Palashova uh, from uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, and we'll be right back. Capital of the world. This is NBRFM, New York City.